Hello, John Mather. It's Kiki Madden. I've got two questions for you, actually. Thing one is, what did the echo of the Big Bang actually sound like? Can you describe it at all? And then the other question I've got, I don't think you'll be able to answer it, but I'm, I'm nevertheless I'm curious. What do you think space smelled like? Thank you. Hi, Kiki. Uh, you want to know uh, what did the early universe sound like? Well, this has actually been simulated. I have a friend, his name is Mark Whittle, W-H-I-T-T-L-E. If you look up Mark Whittle Big Bang on Google, uh, you will find his web page, and it has a recording you can listen to of the sound of the Big Bang. Of course, it's uh, accelerated quite a lot, so you can listen to uh, the expanding universe in a few seconds. Uh, but it sounds like a roaring noise uh, with a pitch that diminishes rapidly with time. As the uh, universe expands, uh, things go slower. So you can listen to a simulated Big Bang on the Internet. It's a remarkable uh, simulation that he's done. Um, the other thing you wanted to know is what does outer space smell like? Well, this is not a question of what does the space station smell like, because that, of course, smells like what did we take with us. Uh, but if you want to know what is the outer space uh, before uh, stars and planets exist, smell like, then you would want to uh, go to different places and find out what are the chemicals that are there. So uh, places like the Orion Nebula, which you can see uh, with your own eyes in the uh, Sword of Orion, are places where there are abundances of molecules of many kinds. Uh, well over a hundred organic molecules have been discovered in space, and uh, some of them you would be able to smell if you had enough of them. So just imagine that uh, that uh, you could uh, actually compress those uh, molecules uh, from outer space into some air, so you could actually have a chance to live and smell them, you would smell ammonia, you would smell um, chemical compounds like benzene, uh, like many uh, ar what we call aromatic hydrocarbons. I think it would smell like a chemistry lab. There would be sulfurous ones that would smell bad. Uh, there would be some that are poisonous, uh, like carbon monoxide, which is extremely abundant, so you wouldn't want to smell it for very long. Uh, but um, anyway, you would smell the constituents of interstellar chemistry, and there are many remarkable surprises out there about that. People imagine that those chemicals are responsible for the uh, presence of carbon uh, and the possibility for life here on Earth, so it matters a lot to us about that interstellar chemistry.